Hello all. Uh, some of the known came up with a simple problem statement of finding a text within a given range. And I thought I will put my video on the YouTube channel as well. So let's start with the problem statement. We have a customer list and we have to find whether a name exists on the customer list or not. Name to find. I put the name here. Let's say I want to find Julia. So what I'll do, I'll do count if count if what is the range range is the customer range so i select the whole range and what is the criteria criteria is basically this is the name which i have to find and i say enter and it says zero 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 elements which are found because there is no julia so let me make this a julia and it becomes one so i can see one person now if i have to say whether julia is found or not what i can say is greater than zero so if it is greater than zero if the count is greater than zero yes julia is found now let's see wildcard also so for example there is a julia ruse and that's not found here uh, the count is still saying one why because it did not identify julia ruse so how to do that so if i have to do that i have to use something called wildcard characters wildcard characters So there are two wildcard characters which can be used star, which means that more than one characters and question mark indicates the exact number of characters. So we'll start with the star and we will see the question mark example also. So if I go with this asterisk, a star or asterisk, then what I'll be doing here is I will be doing, uh, I will be editing this and what I'll be doing, I'll be saying it begins with a star and ampersand is basically a uh, concatenation so i shall be putting a ampersand here and then i shall be putting again an ampersand and post the ampersand i'll be putting a star again so now what happens we have how many julia so many julia are there 11 julia are there let's validate that 11 julia really are there so i'll do a text filter and say contains julia so how many Julia are there? We can see 11 Julia's are there. So this is, uh, now I want to clear the filter. There is a shortcut also. Let me show you the shortcut for clearing the filter first. Alt A C is the shortcut. So it clears the filter. So we saw that this one we were able to identify. Again, if we have to just see whether it exists or not, we can say it's greater than zero and it will say a true because it is definitely greater than zero. Now, let's say I have to do the other wildcard which specifies the number of characters in front. So I'll take the same uh, thing and I will say count if range. Again, I select the range. Range is this. And then I say, let's say we have three characters before the Julia this one and let me make this guy ABC Julia so now the count became one same here I say C D E Julia count became two so basically what it is indicating how many specifically three characters should be before Julia. So if I say A, B, C, D, Julia, it will not be identified. The count shall not increase because I want specific. This specifies the specific number of characters. Nothing more, nothing less. And this is a generic uh, or this is this is like uh, an infinite number of characters shall be represented by a star or a asterisk. There is another thing which is a tilde which is also a wildcard character which is used as a escape sequence but uh, no need to bother that in this uh, tutorial we'll be bothering only with these two so hope uh, you are able to see and find that whether a character is there how can see the count of the characters with the help of count if thank you